Hello, welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how to publish a spreadsheet to the internet. And then we will work on some of the techniques for manipulating that spreadsheet as an interactive web file. Let's first go up to the File menu and choose Save as Web Page. I will first have to decide which directory I want to keep this in. And then let's take a look over here. I do want to publish the entire workbook and I do want to add interactivity. Of course, I want to change the title. Now this is going to be changed to a title which will be an HTML document. So I'm going to call it Create Subtotals. Next, I also want to change the title that will appear on the internet file. So I'll just again put another simple title up here. That's the title that will appear on the internet. And now what I want to do is say publish it. And once again, I want to make a few choices over here. In this case, I'm going to say auto republish every time this workbook is saved and choose to open it in a web browser. Publish. Just wait for the internet connection to come up. It's connecting. And there you go. Now we have our interactive spreadsheet on the web. Here's the title that I created. Here are the pages that I can go to. So for example, if I want to come over here to this page, and now I can manipulate it using the internet toolbar. So for example, in this column, if I wanted to sort them in ascending order or in descending order, I can do it. I can also apply filters. You see there's the automatic filter. So if I wanted to just see a particular region over here, I would choose the region that I want. In this case, let's cancel that. Let's take off the filters. It's a toggle. There are a few other things that are worth pointing out over here. This button right here will bring up other commands and options. So all of our formatting commands, commands that relate to formulas, going to find information and information that pertains about a particular sheet are found over there on that toolbar command. Notice also that I have the ability to export this back to Microsoft Excel. What this means is that if I've made some changes on this worksheet and now I actually want to bring it back into the program to reflect those changes, I would click here, which in this case is going to open up another session of Excel. And that program will then bring in the program or the file that I've connected out on the internet. It really is very easy. It's very straightforward. So now we have our information back in a version of Excel 2007. So it's been a little bit of a journey that we've taken. We've gone from having our information in an Excel 2003 spreadsheet. We've put it out onto the internet as an interactive worksheet that we've been able to manipulate. And then we brought it back into another version of Excel, in this case 2007, with the changes that we've made. So there is our little journey through the internet. I'll see you in the next lesson.